Hello guys, this is EKTS software. This is uh, and it is a very useful software. Uh, in this software, you can make any circuit, electrical circuit, and you can run it from here. And then you can visualize the circuit if there is any fault in the circuit or not. So let's draw a circuit. I'll draw here. Eh? Here in the software, you can get all the equipment required here in the library. Uh, I will draw here to start with the electrical circuit. I will run a motor using a timer. So I will first take a three phase supply and I will need a three phase index uh, start delta motor and I need a single phase supply and a neutral for the control circuit. Supply I can take from here also. I want to make two different circuit, one for power circuit and one control circuit. Uh, that's why I will take separate phase and neutral. Here you have to drag it like this and I will rotate it 180 degree so that we can make the circuit in between this. So now I will take contactors. For contactors, here you have to take coil and contactor contact separately. So I will first take three contact, normally open contacts, and I need three of them. I will first arrange them properly. And I will connect this. Connect. This is the main contactor. This is the now uh, delta contactor. This is for the star contactor. I will name those two contactors later. We just keep watching this. I will connect the star contactor. Advantage of this software is you can implementing a circuit in the field. You can try it here. So that if there was any wrong calculation, wrong design in the circuit, then you can visualize it before running the motor practical. And I will make these three terminals short to make the star connection. And for delta, you have to give each coil two phase. So here in the motors, in the six terminal, U and X is a one coil, V and Y is a one coil. W and Z is one point. So what you have to do, U is already getting the R phase. So I will give X is one of the uh, S or T, one of the two phase. RST is exactly equal to the RYB in Indian standard. So U is getting R phase. So I will give X S phase. So X is going this way. So I will connect it to the S terminal. And V is getting S, so Y, V Y is one coil, so I'll give Y T phase. Okay. And W and Z is one coil. W is getting T phase, so I'll connect the Z to the R phase. We align them properly, so it will look good. So power circuit is almost complete. So I will now draw the control circuit. And for to con draw the control circuit, first of all I will take. I have used here three contactors. So I will take their contactor coil. 
for that you have to select this option and I'll take I'll take three coil. You have to just double tap here to select the particular equipment. So now I'll rotate those coils. This will be easier for me to connect them. I will connect all the contactors to the neutral directly. And I will name those contactors one by one. Let's say this is main contactor, so this is K1. This is star contactor. This is K2, this is delta contactor K3, delta contactors will contactor for delta connection. So now I will take two push button for on and off purpose. This is stop button, I will bring it here and one start push button. I am rotating is, uh, these buttons just to press the buttons from this side, from the left side. There is nothing technical. I will just do it here so that it will look good. So I will connect those buttons here. And after uh, first I will connect the stop button, then start button, then it goes directly goes to the main contactor main top contactor second terminal so as soon as you press the start button main contactor this contactor will hold so current will come this side so to run the motor in star condition initially you have to turn on this contactor to as immediately with immediately the, this con main contactor holds so i will use a no contact of the main contactor normally open contact so this is a normally open contact. Now I will take another NC normally close contact of the delta contactor so that it will be on whenever it is on. This contactor is uh, this contactor is off. So one of the contactors should be on. So I'll, for the interlocking, I will take one NC contact of the delta contactor. Normally close contact. This is. And I need a timer also. On delay timer. I will connect it here. I'll name the timer T. I'll set timer timing five seconds. Let's say five. So now I will use the NC contact of the timer also. On delay time. Yes, sorry. Normally. I will use it here. So when timer will timer will goes off, this contact will become NO. Then this contactor will be off. Then I will use an NO contact here, and that will hit. It will make the contactor on. Rotate. Now connect this terminal to the push button. Now 
now i'll name those this is nc contact of the timer this is nc contact of the delta contactor so k3 this contactor and this is the main contactor no <coughs> so whenever you press the button this contactor will pull but whenever you release the button this contactor will be released so we need to give a latching here so i'll use a no contact of the main contactor so i'll take one more contact i'll place it here rotate and connect it to the parallel to the push button start push button and this contact is of k1 contactor this is start push button so as soon as you press the push start push button this contactor will hold and it will connect this contact so current will come through this even after releasing the start push button then as soon as the start start push button hold sorry main contactor holds this contact will be nc and start contactor will be active so that motor will start running as a start connection but as soon as you start the push button the timer should also run so i will use an another eno contact of the main contactor to connect it with the timer i'll connect here mm, directly connected to the phase i'll name this contact main contactor k1 so timer circuit is complete and start circuit is also complete but when when the motor will goes to the delta connection whenever the timer goes to zero so i'll use a eno contact of the timer first name those name the t this is this contact is of the timer and i will i use now i will use a nc contact of the star contactor to make this to to interlock between the two contactor uh, nc contact normally close now i'll connect this like this and name it this contact is of the star contactor k2 so control circuit is almost ready just name let's name it stop button so let's try once i'll run it from here the circuit if there is any fault in the circuit it will show me this contactor have no relays so the problem is i have used the contacts here but whose contact is this i have to name those contact here so this is the main contactor so it, i have to select k1 and this is k2 sorry k2 yes no this one is k2 star contactor and this is star connector so you have to name it k2 and this is k3 let's drag it a little bit away from the wall so now let's run the circuit now the circuit is okay but let's try once i'll space the start button and it should timer should be on and this contactor should be on so this will start running as a star connected motor so let's see it is working this is on timer is also on as soon as the timer goes zero this eno contact become nc and makes the delta connector active and this nc connector contact becomes eno and it will stop the sorry this nc contact becomes eno and it will stop the star contactor so it will run as a delta connector so let's see once i'll stop here 
and as soon as I start, it will start running in delta and after 5 seconds, it will catch this circuit. So let's watch it. 3, 2, 1 and delta circuit again. You can make any circuits here. You have a lot of options here. There are some systems also like elevator, some gate system open close. You can, you can make those circuit and run it and visualize it. Let's stop it. Thank you so much.